Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and in this video, well, y'all may be able to connect the dots, and I'm sure that some of you have probably already, by seeing the thumbnail, uh, y'all have probably already connected the dots in terms of what was the inspiration for this, but we have a orange Dodge Charger, which this one has been beefed up a little bit. It's got giant solid axles, it's got Baja suspension, it's got a couple of spares in the back. This thing is ready to take just about whatever we throw at it. It's also got a cage on the inside which we're probably going to need if and when we flip it over. Now, as far as why we're out here on this map, though, the ramp mobile, which if you guys don't know what the ramp mobile is, I posted a video earlier today explaining what it was, and you can go to my channel and watch that video if you haven't already, and that is basically a movable, positionable ramp that uh, you basically, you hit the raise button for the suspension, raises it up, and then you have wheels, you can drive it around, position it wherever you want, then you can lower it back down, and down it comes right to the ground ground so you can have a positionable movable ramp. Now, on the other side of this ramp, there are two Chevrolet 1500s. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to see how many Chevrolet 1500s this charger can actually jump over before we, well, land in either in the bed or in the cab of one of the uh, Chevrolet 1500s in question. And right there is the ramp in question. So let's see if we can change up the time of day a little bit. There we go. That looks so much better. And then now, let's just back up a bit. We'll get a little bit of a running start. And by the way, let me know in the comment section down below if there are any other vehicles you would like to see me attempt this challenge with. Three, two, one, full send. Oh God, full send. There, there we go. My freaking parking brake was on. All right, let's see if we can hit fifth. Do we have enough room to hit fifth? We do indeed. Come on. So we made it, but it wasn't by much. I feel like two, I, I don't know. I feel like we might need to, we might need some more speed out of this thing. I just don't know if any of the other transmission options have more speed. So let's see real quick. Let's repair this thing. Then we also, let's see, we have an off-road gearbox. But if we put that in there... I mean, it gives us a four-speed and automatic, but it also gives us high. That could be faster or slower. Oh my god, high is extremely slow. Like, really, really, really slow. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the normal transmission. So we'll go ahead and turn around and get ready. I'm going to get a slightly longer running start to give it a little bit more room to get to the top of fifth gear. Because I don't think we were quite at the top of fifth gear by the time we got to the ramp. Why am I backing up off the road? Thank you. Let's not do that. All right. Back into our mobile garage. Swap out that gear set. Make sure that it has indeed been swapped out. And then now we're going to head down to where that ramp is. And uh, we're going to position the third 1500. Now, the third 1500 is probably going to be, uh, well, for lack of a better term, doomed. Um, but don't worry about it. It'll literally be fine. So let's see. Let's space it somewhat similarly to the others. And that seems similar enough. Oh, man, I feel like this is, uh, I feel like this is not gonna go well, y'all. I feel like this is genuinely gonna be a bit of a, a bit of an obliteration of the Charger, to be brutally honest. Let's back up and get just a little bit more of a running start. Okay, that should be enough now. Three, two, one, let's go! Come on, third, fourth, oh my god, we're already in fourth gear, come on! Uh, we're, oh, it's bad. Oh, it shifted into fifth, but not... Oh, my God, not early enough. Man, we failed. Okay, let's try that one more time because I think that we... Like, right when we shifted into fifth, like, I feel like we could have had so much better of a run-up to that ramp. I'm going to try one more time, and I think we might switch vehicles into something a little bit faster because at this point, I feel like speed is what we need. All right, let's go ahead and spin you around one last time. We're going to back it all the way up to the, like, literally almost all the way up to the creek. All right, you ready? Let Oh, God. Try to get it to go, like, directly forward. That would be the move. All right, here we go. Oh, we're already in fifth? Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. Do not lift. Oh, my God. Well, I guess that means we got to add another one now. I mean, we made it over, so technically that's what that means. 
technically that's what that means. I mean, when we found fifth like that, I did not think that we were going to be upping the ante one more time. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to have to fly over there because I know that looking at it from the direction I'm looking at it, I will not get the placement right. Now, I'm pretty certain that this is going to be a bit of a crash, but I just want to see how far we could push this. I, I legitimately just want to see how far we can push this now. Like, it's gone from being a game of can the Charger make it to how far can I push this without ending up in a catastrophic accident. Oh, come on. Let's not hit the thing before we attempt the jump, please. I'm not even bothering to repair the damage on the Charger because I feel like we don't really need to. I feel like there's not really much point in it. No, let's go. Let me make my way down to the other end and... Let me swing it around, oh, but, or, or not, or just get a sign caught in your front bumper. I mean, that, that I guess that kind of works, too. I mean, like, why why would I ever imagine that there would be anything other than getting a sign stuck in your front bumper? And then the physics deactivate, and then you stop, and now it's a... Okay, that, and see, it disappears into the ground. I was gonna say that, like, oh, now that it's stuck in my car, maybe it'll, like, just disappear from view. But, uh, no, no, it's not gonna disappear from view. In fact, it's going to double down on stopping me. All right, there's fourth already. Give me fifth. There's fifth. All right, now give it time to build speed. It's gonna get a little bit of damage, but that's understandable. Come on! No way! <laughs> How do we keep clearing this? This is four 1500s. Dare we add another one? Because <laughs> we shouldn't be able to do this. Yo, I mean, this is... This is way more than I thought we were going to be able to manage. I mean, there's a fifth one. <laughs> God. Fire it back up. <laughs> I was so confident. A couple of tries ago, I was so confident that we were going to end up running into the 1500s that, like, that's why, I, that's why I was like, oh, yeah, we'll probably end up switching to a different vehicle in a minute. But, like, I did not consider how crazy this thing would actually be if you just gave it room in fifth gear to really, really speed up. Why is the roof a little bit caved in on one side? I didn't notice that before. That's a bit weird. All right, let's get you turned around. I really backed it in right there. I am going to go ahead and go ahead and there we go. Repair the damage because I kind of feel like we should at this point. There's fourth already. I mean, I'm giving it all the room it could ever need to run fifth gear out. All right, let's go, 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 go. No, 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 Okay, well, I think we definitely met the Chargers match here. Now, what do you say we go to something a little bit crazier? No 1500 is safe around this thing. Absolutely not a single freaking one. <laughs> this thing is gonna absolutely destroy. I don't even... I don't know how far it's gonna fly, but like... We're, oh my god, we're already moving so fast. Oh my god. Send it! <laughs> oh my god! All right, <laughs> new plan. Holy crap! Okay, we're gonna add a few more fifteen hundreds to this. <laughs> oh my god! All right, you're gonna go there, and you're gonna go there, and you're gonna go there. What is that? Like three more, bro? It. There's no way. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifteen hundreds. If we drive back down and this thing clears that entire line of trucks, I mean, we just might be onto a new SnowRunner sport that isn't really, uh, isn't really big yet, but might end up becoming a thing. All right, let's see if we can squeeze between the charger and the ramp. Here we go. And if there are any other vehicles that you guys would like to see me jump out here, let me know in the comment section down below because holy smokes, this is amazing. I love this. This is like the mini game that SnowRunner never had that it absolutely needed. There's fourth, seventh. All right, come on. Let's hit eighth. Give me eighth gear. Come on, we're not in eighth gear yet. No! Sinead! Oh my god! Bro, we hit so hard that... Well, I guess we're going to fall back on our wheels anyway, but... <laughs> Why is this so... What? 
Why is this thing so insane? Like, bro, that ramp, that ramp literally creates endless freaking minigames for this game, and you need it. If you don't have that ramp yet, get it, because I know that, like, this is the second video now that I've done on that ramp, but holy crap, it's so worth it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys next time.